This is VMAC Podcast 132. Subscribe, guys, subscribe. So this Saturday for the day, I'm going to Belfast, Maine to see my aunt. Um, just for the day. So what will I do while I'm, on, I'm driving? I'll probably listen to all my devices. Or maybe my cousin who's four is coming with us too in the car. So I might try to talk with him or his mom talks more than he does. So uh, I'll probably talk to her for the most of the ride. And I must say big news yesterday. President Trump is suing Facebook and Twitter and Google. Kudos to you, President Trump. You are the man. I am so happy. It's about time that action was taken. And you're the guy to do it. I think, I actually, put, there's a link you can go and link to put your name on to join the lawsuit. I put my name on there yesterday. So I joined it with hundreds of thousands of other people have joined it also. Have joined it. Um, and I think it's important. And I say this again, I'll say it all the time, like a broken record. Kudos to RSBN. They're really, they're doing a great, excellent job. Because yesterday, he made an announcement about yesterday at 11 o'clock um, at his golf club in Bedminster. And um, it was really, really neat because I was watching that. I'm going, wow, awesome, 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 awesome. Now, got a question, President Trump. Mr. President, where is your new social media, my man? I'm just curious where that's where is that on the process right now. But, hey, a little action goes a long way. He's got Brooke Rollins ha- supporting him. Linda McMahon, the wife of Vince McMahon, the wrestling owner, is also supporting him. Lynn Patton's also supporting him. I bet you Rudy is too. Pam Bondi, I bet, I bet you're supporting that too. So I think that this is a great, it's a great day to celebrate. You know, it's not celebrate yet, but progress is being made. Progress. You can't hate progress. So, uh, that is really, really wonderful. I think that is great what is going on with that. And it was great yesterday when he said, he goes, he goes, Big Tech has silenced the people on the virus. They've silenced all people who don't disagree with them. They have all silenced the majority. We now know what's going on, Big Tech. They now know where the the heart of the matter is. They want to censor all people who don't agree with what they say. They want to, the vaccine was all me. I did that. Nobody else did that. The vaccine, it's all me. And uh, you really got to figure it out. They want to censor all people who don't like what they say. And they all know that eventually we will take back power in the Senate and the House. And we're going back to presidency. So, again, it's my impression again, in case you guys were curious. Um, but it's, I, I, I can't even express to you how, how happy I feel about that, that that's happening. And I think he's speaking at CPAC this Saturday, too. I think that's this weekend in Dallas. Oh, and also just saying, so you know, Um, yeah, so I'm really happy about, about the unit, about the, um, lawsuit against all the big tech companies because it's worth it, you know, for people to, to really take a look at. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. We made that podcast one, three, two, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, I think I got a gig tomorrow night. Before I go, guys, sorry. I think I got a gig tomorrow night up in um, the Rick. I'm not sure yet, but um, I'll give you the recap if I do go tomorrow night. But anyway, guys, thank you, guys. I will see you guys next week.